Oh, hello. Oh, it's them. Neat. This is actually really good. We could use all the help we can get. Belly of an Amon Ren? Huh? What, weren't we just in Goldwood Forest? Uh, well, you're here now, so don't question it. Oh man, that's a long way down. I don't think there is a down. Toby, Alita, Ayo! Hey, Aaron, uh, where's my Alexandra and Damien? Okay. Um, we could have used their help, but I guess they're not here for some reason. Aaron and Cannon? Cannon, don't be alarmed, but I don't think we're on Terajuma anymore. You're not. Sorry, I had to cut away because I had the burp. I've been drinking soda. <laughs> Seems as though Alexandra and Damien weren't dragged in with us, wherever this is. Lita, Toby, where are we? <coughs> are we the rundown? Yeah, give us like a, a little t five minute time skip, or 10 or 20 or whatever. Five dozen, to, more like. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I've had to explain that a couple times today already, so I think I got that pretty well. Okay, so this puppet master is helping on destroying everything. All also, he can create a world he sees as perfect. Why are the self-righteous ones always the people who fall into way too much power? I don't know. It's... it's a thing, I guess. But why are we here? Surely this cannot be a coincidence. There's no way. If anything, the Puppet Master was the one who brought us here. Hmm. So if we want to return things to normal, we gotta take down the Puppet Master. If we work together, I think we can pull it off. Yeah, the... oh. Enter loopers, beware. Those who are not fit for my new world shall be erased. If you wish to oppose me, then proceed up the stairs before you and face me. The battle to decide the fate of this land is imminent. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. We got it invited directly by the Puppet Master himself. Anyone else imagine that in the voice of, like, a very pissed-off Ghost Rider? Because that's how I imagine him talking. I think he has tea and cookies waiting? I lo I'd actually love that. Make it cookies and ice cream and you got a deal. Hell yeah. We have a problem, though. Cassandra is with us and out cold. Eh, whatever. If she wake up, she might try to get away. Hmm, why am I not surprised she's Team Zen scum? In that case, leave it to us. Oh, well, there we go. Zeta, what's this guy doing here? Did he just say Zeta? Ayo. Melly, I've been meaning to talk to you. Zeta, this is the worst time to do that. He, they don't have much time. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, he does want to talk to Melia, doesn't he? But then he's just a drink. Oh, uh, whatever. Prepare and get ourselves- and get yourselves out there. We're counting on all of you. Right, we'll do our best. <clears throat> okay, then. Well, let's talk to everyone before we go. Aaron and I learned a lot in our journey to find the diamond component. We'll tell you all about it once we settle down. Yeah, what the hell? What the actual hell? The Puppet Master is capable of doing something of this magnitude, then he must be a whole, then he must hold unthinkable amounts of power. I have to think of a game plan and fast. I shall help out as well. Yes, Ken, I, I would very much appreciate it. Your insight will be crucial to our success. Yep, you too do that. <coughs> Puppet Master invited us in. This is it, Toby. Final battle against the Puppet Masters here. I'm scared, but with you and everyone else on my side, I feel like I can get through anything. Let's save our world. Hell yeah. You guys better think sec. He's been holding back the Puppet Master this entire time. If it weren't for him, the Puppet Master's nightmare would have expanded much farther by now. Hope he's alright. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Cassandra is saying nothing. After everything we've been through down in those caves, now we have to deal with this? Looks like we've always got something messing up our day, huh, Toby? We better get ready. I'll put everything I got into this. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is right after Golden Wood. And that last part, the thing they experienced was fucked. So yeah, they're really not getting a break from this at all, are they? What's been going on since we've been gone? Total World of Chaos and Destruction? I don't want to think of it. Yeah, well, it's not really... Well, it's more of creation, but... Yeah, that'll definitely happen, too. Puppet Master's gone too damn far. This is our world. If he wants to destroy it, then he's gonna have to go through us. Damn straight. I never knew Cassandra much, but when we did talk, it was very brief. Thank God, because she's a total bitch. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> Yeah, Zed is definitely my favorite Team Zen member. Yeah, hands down. Or, I guess it could be Ren too, since he's technically them. Uh, def those two are definitely my favorite Team Zen members, for sure. Yeah. Alright, well, let's do this. And proceed. Oh, they're, they're, of course they're here too. This is something truly extraordinary. The events that are transpiring here, they're nothing our data could have predicted. Kieran, you can you sense it too, don't you? This force emanating up those stairs. It's a power that transcends even teams in and Madame X herself. Oh! Hmm. Well damn. I'm intimidating, it's true. Intimidated, it's true. Should we step in? At this current moment, if we were to step in, our chances of success would be approximately send Bullshit! Bullshit! You have to have a lower you have to have a lower success rate than that. Especially with someone that's literally turning reality into what he wants to. 25.2% chance of failure is far too high for the gamut to be worth it for us. Yeah, I, I think we need to need to reverse the numbers right here. 
and you know make the failure chance a very much higher percent like at least 90 because I don't think a bunch of tech and being from a parallel universe is going to help you against someone that can you know shift reality Toby has the advantage of numbers their success rate is 86.8 percent okay well I guess something we got something right there me having a higher success rate than these two bastards for now, let's spectate. Yeah. Well, here we are. Interloopers of the outside world. So you have come to disturb peace after all. Very well. Well. Okay. Oh, you gonna show yourself? Ah! Okay, yeah, I actually remember that. I've, that's still. St <laughs> yeah, actually, this this is com this is coming back to me. Yeah, <laughs> it looks cool as shit though. But you know, that's not exactly something you want to deal with. Interceptor. In my world, the only one who may alter fate is me. Unauthorized unauthorized usage of the course power will be met with death. Come, the battlefield has been set. All right, well, let's do this. That's the puppet master. We have to fight that thing. Yep. Do we have the power to oppose such a being? Nope. But well, we're gonna do it anyways. He's huge. There's no way we'd even put a dent all the way down here. Oh hell yeah! I learned a new trick during my mission. If we can't possibly hope to deal damage down here, then let's even the playing field. Yeah. <laughs> let's do this. Going up. Let's do this. Oh, freaking awesome. Is this good enough? It's more than enough. It's perfect. Melee, you use this power a lot today. Are you okay? Don't underestimate me. As long as I maintain my focus, this is easy. Everyone go. We got a job to do. I can sense Tiny Puppet Master's heading this way. I just realized Aaron's on her Mega Absol. That's cool as shit. <laughs> of course, getting to him wouldn't be easy. Right, this is what we've trained for. Ken and I will provide tactical support from the floating rocks. But for now, we should make way for our leaders. They're the ones that will battle and take down the Puppet Master. Is that understood? Alright, let's go. Hell yeah. You okay? Don't worry about me. Go and wrap this up. Yeah. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Oh, hey! Lavender! Huey, Lavender, Rena, and Huey. Check it! <laughs> the Reserve Squad is at your disposal. We terminate all evil. All evil that's left behind when Toby and others destroy them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, you get the ragtag team to help you, Melia. <laughs> we chase with grace and with ulterior motives because we're usually just bored and have nothing to do. Thanks, guys. <laughs> is that Rena? Is, is that Rena? What are you doing here? I ran, wanted to get on on this world-ending event, so I found a way in. Uh, of course. Hugh Lavender, Lavender and I have it down here. You go on ahead. You got it. Oh, er, okay. Toby, I'm here at your service. We'll beat the Puppet Master. Hell yeah! And Ren's fighting uh, thingy. Don't worry about me, Toby. I got this. You're better. So, all right, you get that. Oh, all right, get this one, guy. Yeah, get this one, Huey. I believe in you. I believe in you, buddy. All right, Pubmaster, give it all you got. Come on, I said, give it your best shot. Uh. Uh, you okay, Huey? I don't know what that dude did to him, but clearly it's got Huey traumatized. Did he go into his ear and whisper some traumatic, disturbing shit to him or something? God, I hope not. Huey ain't exactly... Um... Well, I don't know. I feel like he'd piss his pants if he watched something like Jigsaw or something. Yeah, whatever. He'll probably be okay. In the end. But, uh, now... Hey, y'all. Alright, well, let's get going. Stop. Oh. Oh! Uh, hi. Oh, it's actually Elaine. Uh, okay, this this actually pisses my OCE off a little bit that she isn't in the. But whatever. I I guess that's my fault, really. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, stares at you. Stares at you judgingly. Yeah, she she's she do be staring. She do be staring. Look at that. That is a judgmental ass stare. Stares at you. Oh, well. Okay. Do you know? Do you want to know why I'm staring at you like this? Uh, I would, I'd say, I'd say some smart ass reason why, but honestly, I've got nothing at this point because this is an entirely confusing ass situation we're in. 
especially since I'm kind of inhabiting your body. It's because, yet again, you're running into a risky situation. Yep, well, that's just how I roll. What we have up here is an impossible enemy. Can't you see that? You heard that woman in the Nightmare Realm, right? Because I chose to give up my position as the Interceptor, you lost for 50% of your capabilities. It's because of this that it took you so long to awaken any semblance of this power. But now I'm awake, and I'm tired of sleeping. So let's combine our efforts this time and not fuck up, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Good. Alright then, let's not waste any more time. I am you, and you are me. I am Elaine, our Wrath. We are Toby. Well, that was definitely some Venom shit right there. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Together we become one. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Interceptium Z? With the power of the Interceptor increase, Toby now gained the ability to use Intercept Z. Uh... Unleash the power of the Interceptor with special Z moves and change fate. What do I use it on, though? Um... Well, you're my favorite Pokemon, so I guess we'll do that. Yeah. Well, if I'm gonna change someone, might as well do it with my favorite Pokemon. Hey, yo. You got really big. So you have finally come. Just as you asked us to. Good, then let us begin. Okay, well, we're just getting straight into it. What's the point of giving us all those hints, that info? That you had hope in Toby and I to succeed. Without the data, there is no hope of survival. By making this world my own, I am saving it from an unspeakable terror. In my world, the weak will not be trampled, the strong will not overrule, and those helpless will find new hope. And with my power bestowed by the Lego Somnia engine, I will bend reality to my real, to my will. But you're just forcing that on people. Even if your intentions are to help, the ends does not justify the means. Toby and I, everyone, we trained so hard so that we can make a difference. But the power you display, you can make a difference in a better way. In my reality, my way is the better way. Even with your strength, you are powerless to change the future. While I was trapped inside that wretched device, I learned of horrors that cannot be defeated. Trapped? No one can stop it. Madame X cannot defeat it. Bullshit. I'll, try I'll beat her again. And this time without debug. <laughs> Madame X can't be defeated? In its current state, this world has little time left. If I do not do this, everything will crumble. Toby, I don't know what he's talking about, but we have no choice but to fight. This is where the culmination of our training will kick in. That those who stand in the way of humanity's future shall be devoured. Well, bring it, bitch. Ah! It's just a giant fucking hand. Are you trying to imitate the master hand? This thing. Bruh! We're paralyzed already. Dark electric. Well, fuck you too. Thunder kick. Yeah, fuck you too. And you missed. Delete him. Uh, yeah, that's... There we go. One health bar down. Oh. Memories of being burned alive pass by. The field was changed. And, oh. Okay, well, it's dark and fire, but it's still poison. Okay, well. You okay? You're up. Um, yep, dark fire. And it's got plus one attack and special attack, of course. Uh, well, earth power. There we go. That did a lot. Oh. Yeah, Typhlosion would have been neat for that. Alright. The feeling of an explosion creeps up your spine. Oh. What all did it... Our defenses are low as shit. It's dark and fairy now, so, uh, Sludge Bomb. Should do a lot. Baru can beat down. Okay, that's a made-up move. All right, so it's fairy now, so Scizor. Get out and bullet punch this fucker. What the fuck? You feel death incarnate staring you down. Healed with cha- Bruh! That's dark and flying! Okay. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's totally dark and flying. Uh, this is gonna be risky, but fuck it. It, it just tried to use Oblivion Wing, but it failed? I, uh, the true nightmare begins. Uh, ah! Ah, and it's not burned anymore, too. That sucks. Okay. It's, uh, it's dark and fairy. Oh, dark, dark and psychic. Uh, bug bite. That's gonna... <laughs> 
There we go. It bit it. And nope, there I go. Alright, well. Let's hit this shit. Get him! There we go! <laughs> Master of Nightmares has been defeated. Yeah. What do you think about that, bitch? Is that enough? Did we do it? I think so. You are strong. But not- oh shit. Oh fuck, it's one of these! Uh. What? Ah! Ah, ah, ah that ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. Oh! Hello. We're- we're there. But how? That attack w hit, hit us directly. But I'm only a little scratched? How is it possible? My attack- Oh. Elaine. It's amusing to see the puppet master so taken aback. Maybe he's realizing he's no longer in control anymore. No way, it's the other Toby, or rather Elaine? How are you speaking to me, Elaine? You have awoken, but you should have stayed deep within Toby's soul. Get a grip, don't you realize it already? The Lego Somnia engine projects the dreams of those within it. That includes everyone, not just you. Oh. So, damn. That, and so, he definitely would have failed. Okay, I get, I take it back. Clear and Kiran's success rate thing was, uh, was probably true then. Okay. It cannot be. The denial is hilarious. Keep crying. Facts are facts. Toby's made an impression on this city. That's respect. And as a result, everyone is ho hoping for Toby to save the day once more. And if everyone is dreaming about Toby's success, their dream will become a reality. They believe in me. Lita is right. We've only made it this far because Toby has been there to pull pull us through times of trouble. This is the one time believing in someone actually does actually realistically does shit. Instead of just, you know, increase give someone plot armor. Toby's been there to pull us through times of trouble. Ever since Black Steeple, Toby has been my foundation of hope. I know they'll pull through no matter what. I believe in Toby until the very end. Toby's done so much for all of us. Toby helped me escape Isha's clutches. I will always be grateful for that. I believe in Toby until the very end. Toby was super cool against Gardevoir in the past, you know? They saved my brother's life. I believe in Toby until I make fucking die. <laughs> Alright. When I first met Toby, I knew we were going to be rivals. But at this point, I know Toby has surpassed me in terms of strength and as a person. And I couldn't be happier. Toby, bud, I believe in you always. Aw, oh, thanks, Ren. Toby whooped my ass back in East Garden City. You know how humiliating that was? It sucked! But I love Toby's energy so much that I just had to vibe with it. Aw. Fuck off, Puppet Master. I believe in Toby. <laughs> Toby? I... Huey? Okay. You know what? At first I thought Toby was extremely weird. Uh, you're not wrong. Yeah, ironic coming from me, I know. <laughs> but if there's one thing that had me change my mind, it'd be their determination to keep going no matter how difficult the circumstances. And for those aforementioned reasons, I believe in Toby. Lady Alexandra holds Toby to a very high standard. So of course, naturally, Toby would have a good impression on me as well. If Alexandria believes... No, it's not about what I, Alexandra thinks. It's about how I feel. How I think. And even then, I don't think. I know that I believe in Toby. Oh, well, thank, thanks. Anyways, um... Toby and I have been on this journey f together for a long time. And it's been incredible. Without Toby, I never would have learned the truth about Kenneth and about my past. Never would have made it right here before you, Puppet Master. Toby, I believe in you. Okay, can we get off my deck already now? <laughs> this was just a giant suck-off compilation right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> uh, thanks for believing me, but Jesus Christ. A little bit too much for me, especially from a guy that cannot take compliments very well. Hear that, Puppet Master? Toby is rocking it right now. And with this much support, our dream will become a reality. Toby, I know it can be trouble, and I can be difficult, and I can be a lot of things. And truthfully, I'm not that sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. However, I need you, and you need me. Let's rely on each other, okay? Toby, I believe in you. Well, dream a dream so big it becomes a miracle. Hell yeah! Oh? Uh, what's going on? Oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't know... Uh, this, isn't, this ain't super... Uh, what the fuck is that? Is that Varia? That's the Varia lady, yeah. Toby? She's watching me do this, okay. The Interceptor's form has changed. Yeah, I've gone... Well, this isn't Super Saiyan, but... I'm, I've gone into a kick-ass transformation, bitch. Has fate changed as well? <laughs> You're fucked now, boy. Oh, you don't even have uh, any more... Ah, look at my sprite! It looks cool! Alright, fuck this. I get, fuck you. I can do this with Typhlosion alone. 
Yeah, eat shit, Puppet Master. <laughs> Damn. Well, I really did a number on him, and I didn't even do that much. The people's belief in you exceeded this dimension's belief in me. Well, yeah, of course they believe me more. You know how, long, uh, how much of Avium I've covered so far? That is why, in the end, you were able to best me. Interceptor. Oh, Interceptor, is this your true power? Uh, I guess so. I mean, look at me. Perhaps if you believed in Toby and all of us, then maybe things would have ended differently. Yeah, you definitely could have been a really good ally with all you were able to do. But instead, we have this. Toby, allow me to ask you a favor. Please, destroy me. Oh? This world has no need for me, with you in it. The ability to change fate, it is great, and I am a fool. Even without Clear and Kiron's data, I yearn for so deeply. I believe that you are opportunity itself. Puppet Master? And Vary is still there. Oh, uh, hey, Huey. Huey? Uh. Uh. Hello? Huey, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? Come on. What the hell, man? I got to use that interceptium thing. Neither did I. Oh, hello. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, and fuck the fact that he was trying to attack me. I want to see what the fuck is this. Unleashed power, Elysian shield, domain shift, blinding speed. Hello. And this is apparently dark and fairy. Okay, so the only thing I can really do is that will actually help is unleashed power. So fuck it. <laughs> Drawing from the course back. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> I wish I could do it again. Alright, throw trap. And, okay. Yeah, he doesn't exactly have the best of team. Best team, does he? Oh, that happened. Please. Please what? Come on, why'd you, why'd you attack me, dude? What the fuck? Huey, Toby, I'm sorry. I didn't fight you with the intention of beating you, but I just couldn't let you do it. Puppet Master, you gave me the power to imagine what I wanted in this realm. Is that right? Oh, he's so coy. You remind me of someone. Fine, then I want to imagine something one last time. I want to imagine that you're not hurt. And I want to imagine you're smiling again. I'm I want you to be you again. R Rune? Uh... You mean a sister, Rune? No fucking way. Huey? Rune! I thought I would never see you again. I thought you were dead. The way that puppet said it'll be okay, I knew- I just knew. So that's what it said to him, okay. So it didn't whisper some horrific shit into his ears, okay. I'm so sorry for causing you so much pain. I'm here now. I know- I know you're here now. Toby and Alita, I'm so sorry for everything. I'm sorry, I'm just really in shock right now. Uh, yeah, me too. I guess the only thing I remember was the fight. I guess that's what I get for watching, uh, type lock fights on YouTube. <laughs> I just remember the fights. That's all I remembered. The entire time, Rune was the puppet master? Yes, it's true. I was the one that was guiding everyone, the one that put you through the school of nightmares. The one who appeared in Hazuki's dream and told her all those horrible truths. In an attempt to save people, I hurt them too. And I'm so sorry. Rune, what happened to you? Hugh, you must understand something. Though you and I are here together, Rune is gone. Uh... What do you mean? What What do you mean? Just like Riza, second Zeta. I'm just Data. The Rune you long for is no longer. I'm sorry. No. I'm going to explain everything from the beginning. Okay, then. Oh! Damn, she actually got it fine! <laughs> damn, that is one hot sister. My name is Rune, and originally I was from the Mira region. At the age of 16, I was recognized as a prodigy detective. 
and was put on a case to find out what the original Team's Inn was up to. <clears throat> the mission was top secret, and I couldn't let anyone know my identity, so I went under the Elias Freya. I clashed with Team's Inn, but ultimately failed, causing the nuclear plants to explode. Oh, so that's why we're all in Avium. Ten individuals died at this site, or rather, that was what was written. Two people survived that explosion. The undercutter sleuth Freya and a six-year-old boy named Huey. Oh. For reasons unbeknownst to me, Huey and I were sent to the voidal chasm, and we spent over half a century there until someone found us. What? That girl was Flora. She had recently fallen into the void herself, and we worked together to escape. It took Flora and I a few days to get little Huey out, but we did it. And as a result, we formed an incredible bond of friendship. Because we spent so much time trapped within the chasm, the person Huey and I were before we, wo before we were wiped clean. In fact, deep down, I didn't even know who Huey really was. All I knew was that he was important. I needed to protect him. So they may not even be related. So you just need like a fake identity and all that stuff, right? If you having Huey a somewhat normal life is what you want, then I can do that. How? How would you even be capable of doing such a thing? Don't worry, I got people for that. Eh, well, she does have people for that. Flora managed to create a whole fake scenario for Huey and I. Coupled with fake parents, fake photos, fake accident record. At the time, I had no idea how she managed to create a fictional family, but she did it. We enrolled at Axis High University and were best friends. When we graduated, Mr. Blakery liked me so much that he offered me a teaching position. In exchange for free admission for Huey, I accepted, of course. Oh, but this is where the story truly began. You two seem to be very happy. How is your project coming along? Oh, it's Zara and Jean. Or this world's Kiran and Clear, I guess. Yeah. As well as we need it to. The well actually they're not even they're not even their alternate version. They're just Well, I don't even know what the fuck they are. They were built I think they were built with the black boxes, I think. Anyways, um as well as we need it to. The Lego Somnia engine is going to shatter the results as the comp at the competition. Don't you think Lego Somnia engine is kind of a mouthful? I still think Dream Machine gets the point across just fine. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Sure it does, but it doesn't give that give it that pizzazz it needs to be impressive. It just gives it just makes my mouth hurt from repeating it all the damn time. If it works, it'll be a hard project to defeat at the top-notch competition. See, Gene, it's in the bag. We just need it to work reliably now. Whatever you say. <coughs> oh, I'm here back. Even hinting that I was considering vo voting for their project was a mistake. I admit that much. However, had every intention of doing so. Mr. Blakery, on the other hand, had other ideas in mind. Oh, Mr. Blakery, what can I do for you? It's come to my attention that the jury for the top-notch no competition is uneven this time around. Oh, is it? It has also come to my attention that the jury also seems split on citing the winner. Can you believe that? The competition hasn't even started yet. Well, tough shit. Where, where are you going with this, sir? Currently, Sakitron and the Lego Somnia engine are tied. However, if you were to vote for Sakitron, that would break the tie. Damn, this bastard! Sir, you can't be serious. I'm not going to rigged results just so that that's a shame. I thought after everything I've done for you. Bastard. Bastard. Well, in that case, I suppose Huey's education doesn't matter to you. What an actual piece of shit. I did what he said and Saki won the competition. But as a result, I unleashed hell on our grounds. One day, Risa stopped showing up to class. And another student stopped showing. And another. And another. But then all but Risa showed up. But this time in the form of stone. Oh. <clears throat> Mr. Blakery, students are disappearing left and right. We can't just sit by and do nothing. It is a tragedy. A tragedy I condemn, but a tragedy nonetheless. What more can we do but make the students feel safe at school? Mr. Blakery, how can you be so irresponsible? Young woman, I offered you a position here because you are exemplary. But if you keep this up, I'm going to have to suspend you for a while. Fucking bastard. Listen, this is no job for a teacher such as yourself. Just be calm and leave this to the detectives. Leave it to the detectives, huh? Fine then, I'll leave it to the detectives. As you should. Good day, Vroom. Well, she is half a detective, so she'll do it. Had enough of being told to sit around and do nothing. If Mr. Blakery wanted me to leave it to the detectives, then I would fulfill his wish. I, do I dove all of my time into investing this case to chase the culprits who dare endanger the students of GDC. As long as I was alive, I would not stop no matter what. <clears throat> That's what I genuinely believe. That was until I received this letter in a red envelope. If you do not and stop investigating the case of the missing students, we will unleash a never-ending nightmare upon you. If you value your and Huey's life, cease. A warning, though, from the culprit. The culprit knew who I was, and they knew that I was investigating the case. I wouldn't take the chance, so I gathered up funds and went far away from GDC. 
Tele Resort is isolated away from most of the region and didn't have the cold and harsh climate the Artric Artrica region suffered. I didn't know how long we'd stay, but we had to leave the first chance we could. Mm. After a long day, I decided to visit a nearby cave to cool down. Then I heard a scream, ran towards the scream, and lo and behold, it was none other than Saki Blakery. She had been attacked by the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. Uh, fortunately, I was able to subdue its anger and send it running. Oh, so that's what happened here. Hey, that was super cool. You must be really strong if taking out a legendary Pokemon was that easy. Oh, has anyone ever told you that you have beautiful red hair? It is beautiful. It actually reminds me of someone I knew back at school. Who is it? Mm, I don't know. It doesn't really matter anyway. What's your name? Oh, my name is Freya. Freya, huh? That's a cool name. It means fire, right? Fiery just like my friend Zara and Jean back at high school. Oh, or Axis High. Zara's been so mad ever since she and Riza stopped talking to each other for a while. What did you just say? Yeah, my friend Zara and Risa got into a big fight the other day. Two stormed out of the classroom and they looked like steamed hams. <laughs> now they're taking their anger out on me. It's like Zara and Jean hate me for some reason, but I don't know why. Have to go. Be safe, Saki. Sure, but hey, how'd you know my name? Wait. Saki's words were exactly what I needed to put the puzzle together. I gathered Huey and we left the resort. When we returned, I looked into Zara and Jean some more. Their sudden disdain for Miss Blakery lined up when I realized that Saki had beat them in that competition way back. Turns out they, too, were skeptical of the results and felt cheated. I looked further into detail about the students that had been turned to stone. Each of the students had one thing in common. They shared Saki's GPA. That had been their M.O. the entire time. At this point, I knew it was them. I got up inside to investigate myself until... You going out again? Oh. Huey? You're always going out so late at night, Rune. What are you doing? Huey, I promise. I'm going to explain everything to you when... It was my birthday yesterday. Oh, shit. You didn't even come home yesterday. Huey, I'm so... I'm so sorry. You don't even talk to me anymore, Rune. Do you hate me? Huey, how can you say that? You and I haven't even spoken more than one thing in, then a, in more than a month. Even when we went on that vacation in Terajuma, you barely said anything. All you do is wander off and leave me alone by myself. Why? I'm sorry, Huey. I have to go now. Rune, I, I hate you. Damn. I really did get into a fight. And he really did say that. So they did go to the dream yard. Oh! Risa? Oh! Uh... That ain't good. Oh shit, she's in one of them? Sorry, Jean, why? You pushed us to this. We gave you a warning and you didn't listen. Miss Rune, I respect you a lot as a teacher, but you've crossed a line. I crossed a line? Me? Look at you two! Tagging students and turning them into stone? And then poor Risa. Oh god, Risa. Everything we've done up to this point has been for Risa. And your life, it, it, and your life will be a sacrifice to her as well. A sacrifice? What are you going to do with me? The Lego Somnia engine project must succeed. I need I need to see Riza once more. Sorry, teacher. Uh sorry, Gene. Stop. Please. Huey. Damn. They really did just fucking murder her. Where am I? I feel weightless. She's dead. Is that Zara? The upload failed. We'll just carry on and find another test subject and try again. Rune is nothing but stone now. We can't let her out. Show your body and dispose of it. Got it. Stop, the experiment didn't fail. I'm not dead. Zara Jean, please, can't you hear me? Can't can't you hear me? No, they're gone. Damn. <laughs> I really think I could change anything? Why was I being so foolish? Now I'm stuck here in this digital space forever. Alone, forever. It's my punishment for failure, isn't it? This is my hell. I deserve this. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Flora. I'm sorry, Huey. Please forgive me. Hmm. Huh? Uh, what? Uh, what is... Uh... Hello? Uh, damn! Clear and Kiron had no idea of my existence and began uploading their data into the system. Because my mind had been integrated into the engine, everything began to flow inside of my mind. I learned about Melia, Venom, Kenneth, Talia, Team Zen, Zeta, the Interceptor? All this information at my fingertips. Underneath it all was a harrowing truth. Team Zen's plan to destroy everything was Storm 9. The imminent threat of the Zen purchase on Grand Dream City? I knew I had to do something, no matter what. I had to be the one to change fate. My inhibitions and my emotional ties to the world won't hold me, would hold me back. So I purposely corrupted my data and created another self. And that was the Puppet Master. The wrong people had been pulling the strings for far too long. 
I created a nightmare city in a way to the day Toby would enter Grand Dream City. Simply relaying information to the Interceptor would not be beneficial. They had to grow and prepare themselves before they were ready to learn who they were. But not just them, I needed to awaken Melia, Aaron, Alice, and Alan. For death was the only way to awaken the fragments of the archetype within them. I peered to Hoski and Thomas Blakery in their dreams and gathered their help in exchange for information on Mr. Blakery. I relayed information to Thomas Blakery and he placed them in boxes where I instructed him to do so. In the meantime, Hazuki helped me prepare the School of Nightmares, and thus began my fight against Clear and Kiron. Mm. I suspected that my alter ego may go out of control in the event of failure, failure, so I left the back door open for me. If Huey were to ever realize my identity and wish for me, I would appear. Rune, I can't believe all of that was you. Not to bring up the past, but you kind of had me and my family blown up. Yeah. Didn't exactly feel nice, you know. Sorry, like I said, the archetype only comes forth when the person experiences death. Think of it like a backup generator, of sorts. And it implies that if we somehow lose the archetype, you're correct. If the archetype is drained from your soul, you will die. Cool. Noted. I wasn't able to get my hands on what Clear and Kiron were hiding, but I was still able to retrieve some of it. Everything you saw in the School of Nightmares and the little data I retrieved will be sent to all of you when this is over. It should all be on Thomas Blakery's computer. Please retrieve it when you can. We will. Thank you so much. Oh. Uh... This world is continuing to grow. I must put an end to it myself. Rune, don't leave again. Oh, Huey, this is how it must be. Besides, look at how much you've grown. You don't need me anymore. But I want you to be here. I don't care if I don't need it. Uh, it's just how, th how it's got to be, kid. Her time has passed. Zeta? You could say that, say that for all of us, really. Yeah, oh well, it was fun. But now it's time for us to retire for good. Lavender? Yes. Thank you for always being there for Huey. I'll continue to look after him for the rest of my life. Yeah, you don't. You two definitely will. So you don't have to worry. Yeah, they're gonna fuck. <laughs> and Rena? Yes, ma'am? Thank you for being a big sister for Huey in my absence. Pfft, that, it was easy. And I'll be, her, be his big sister from now on, okay? I pass the baton to you. Rune, Huey, this is goodbye for good. There's so many things I wanted to show you, but we've run out of time. At least, at least I got to say goodbye this time. Rune, I love you and I'll miss you. I guess we get a somewhat happy ending out of this then. Hm. And a huge info dump. It's been real, guys. Well, actually, I guess it hasn't been real. It's just a dream. But it was a real adventure either way. Maybe now I can finally rest. My brother and sister will be okay without me. The, the world is in your hands, everyone. You will do well. Goodbye. Yeah, you were de this version of you was definitely a lot tolerable, so... I guess I'll miss this version of Risa, because... The other one that uh, Clear was playing... God, I fucking hate it! This one, though, I could tolerate, and probably get along with. It's been an honor working with you, Puppet Master. You've shown me more kindness than anyone at the Zen HQ ever has. I'll never forget it. I was kind of just a helper robot Zara made in her spare time, but you helped me become something I've always wanted to be, an annoyance. <laughs> bon voyage, it's time to go. Good luck, Toby and Melly. We give our strength to you. See y'all. Oh, guess everything's back to normal now. That's good. Hmm. Aaron, you can take the Absol back now, okay? We're outside of Axis High University. Rune really did it. Everything is back to normal. But where's everyone else? Huey? Lavender? They never woke up the way Toby and I did. They're most likely just waking up now. We should go greet them. Yeah. You guys go do that. We have something to take care of. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he got bitch head over here. Hmm. Oh. This is, uh, yeah, it's the news. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gear and News. I'm your host, Volta, and boy, do we have multiple stories for you today. I bet you do. Thanks to the efforts of a small group of heroes, the distortion around Axis High University has settled down. But nothing could prepare the region for what was hidi hiding underneath the rubble. Headmasters Hazuki Blakery and three students were pronounced dead. One being the beloved superstar Risa Raider. Well, that, that persona that I had to deal with was not beloved to me at all. But Dream, dream World Risa, that's definitely something I can tolerate. The other two beings are Bella and Jean Rallos. Fans have gathered in the District of Hope to hold a memori memorial service for all three students in Hazuki Blakery. The cause of death is unknown to us at this moment. But that's not all. Mr. Blakery has been arrested by authorities earlier this morning. Damn, that's what he looks like? Damn, he really does look evil as shit. While the certain charges faced against him are unknown at this time, it is being stated that he admitted guilt to all of them. But if you think that's all, you'd better sit down for this one. Mayor Cassandra of Grand Dream City has been arrested for possible connection to the black market and illegal activ activities. Well... You gonna bring up how she was part of the team's end? 
Okay, I guess not. Mr. Blakery expected to be tried in court of a couple of days. Cassandra is being held for questioning at this time. Hmm. Thank you for watching Gear and News. We hope to see you here again soon. Okay, then. The next day at Mr. Blakery's press release. Oh. Mr. Blakery, is it true that you had something to do with the distortion act X is high? Sorry, no comment. Yeah, that's... Mr. Blakey, your wife was found dead in her bed after the distortion ceased. She has she had no apparent injuries, but people are saying you had something to do with her death. No comment, sorry. Yeah, he's just gonna keep repeating that. Reason Raider, two other students, and the missing woman Rune have been have all died on your grounds. What do you have to say about that? No comment, sorry. Now that Hoski Blakery is gone and you've been arrested, what is left in store for Axis High? Axis High University will be closed for the time being. Students and teachers will still use the facilities, but classes will not be held. That is all. Since you are stepping down as CEO of Blakery Corporation, does that mean Saki Blakery is now the new CEO? The transfer has not been completed, but it is planned for Saki to take over once things have settled. Alright, that's enough questions for today. That's the end of this press release. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty big press release. Oh, are we in? Oh, there's Bladestar people too. Okay. Inmate, did you hear about what happened at Axis High? Sure did. That distortion warped the school into another world. Yeah, and people didn't come out unscathed. Three students, a teacher, and the headmistress died. And get this, one of the students was that famous star, Risa Raider. That's insane. I really liked her stuff. I didn't. But also, the teacher that died was the missing woman, Rune. Damn, anyway, do you think we could have escaped if that distortion got all the way here? Oh, definitely, she. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's Flora. Damn, she got a haircut. God damn it, why? Rune, you didn't deserve this. I, I don't know why, but I like her hair shorter. I'm sorry. Dang it, if I saw out of her, she'd probably look like a fucking Karen. Oh, hello. Blakeries have thrown this city into turmoil. Their evil experience have experiments have caused distortion in this world, and it resulted in casualties. Hazuki Blakery was killed by Thomas Blakery, sir. Justice must be sought, uh, brought to the ones that have passed. Hazuki Blakery, Reza Raider, Jean Rallos, Zara Bella, Rune Hagen. Is that her last name? Hagen? Okay. Oh, shit. Saki's looking at all that. Saki. Uh, hello? Who are these two? Mom, da oh, th these are actual parents. What are you guys doing here? I thought you guys were finishing a deal in Jubilife City. We were, but, well, you already know what's going on. Aunt Saki, we come here because it's not safe for you to be alone. That is true. But I can take care of myself. I understand, hon, but please look at it from our perspective. The Blakery name is under heavy fire, heavy fire at the moment. The state of this school and the Blakery company is uncertain. And there are a slew of threats coming in right recently. We can't take any chances. Please come with us to East Girin for now. I understand, I'll go. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, because I don't want anything bad to happen to Saki. Blame her father instead- or not her father, her fucking grandfather. Hmm. Saki, dear, we're going to spend the night here in the Chrysolia Hotel. Bright and early in the morning, we'll be taking the first flight to Hard Home City. Damn, they're going to Sinnoh? What about my life here, my friends? It's only for a little while, love, just until things die down a bit. We don't want you to- we don't want to pull you away from your life, but your father and I think it's necessary. I mean, if, I mean, if it's only for a short amount of time, then sure. No, this is hard. I very much do, but this will be for the best. How about we go to that poffin shop you love so much? I always did have good poffins. Your father and I have phone calls to make, but if you're hungry, just call room service. All right. Hmm. I guess I should get comfortable. Yeah, probably. Hmm. So far down from here. I can see people down there living their normal lives. I never lived a normal life, did I? Running around enjoying life while it was people while it was people suffering that made it happen. What was I doing all this time? Fucking off, doing stupid shit? What the heck was I supposed to do? Gosh dang, well, none of it's your fault, really. There's no point in leaving right now. Where would I even go? Back to GDC? Those people would run me over. I don't want to deal with that. But they also just want answers. I don't have any for them, I'm sorry. Ah. <sighs> oh, TV. Welcome back to Gear and News. I'm your host, Fulta. Let's get right in it. Protests have started all across GDC, but now they've made their way to West Gearin City, too. Oh. This is due to the rumor of Saki Blakery returning to her home in West Gearin. Civilians are demanding for a thorough investigation of the house and the facilities in the West Gearin area. Oh no. If there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that things are not looking swell for the Blakeries. Nope. Authorities have been clearing out protesters that are deemed a threat. We advise that trainers do not visit these areas at this period in time. Probably a good idea. Can't believe this is happening. But it's deserved, all of it. Yeah, what, is, what has their mother and father done? Have they done anything deplorable? Or have they just been... Well, I don't even know what they do. I guess mom and dad figured people would look for me at my home, so they brought me here. I don't think there's a safe place anywhere for me. Probably not. Hmm. Let's 
uh... Hmm. This pool looks like, looks like it's never even been used before. Why even have it? Damn, it's just there just to be there. So pristine and spotless. Has anyone ever even been in this penthouse before now? The price to stay in this place is approximately 400000 dollars $400, Damn. And for what? This place ain't even that special. Oh no, it's because it has the name Blakery on it. So stupid. Eh, stupid pool. You're a useless pool, you know that? So dumb and stupid and large. What have you done? Nothing but nothing but be a pool. Idiot. <laughs> uh, I just wrote... I think he's just going off on a fucking pool. <laughs> then, no, that's something I needed to see. Hey, this bookshelf has a story about the Pangoro and the Zorua. Eric and I's favorite book? No way. You know, this reminds me of the time I dressed up as a Caterpie because... Uh, shit, I don't remember. But Eric dressed up as Pangoro. Hey, he tried to chase me, but he was way too short to walk in that costume. Suck it, nerd. <laughs> Okay, well, <clears throat> and there's a the phone right there. What's up with you guys? <laughs> Die, things aren't looking good. Even the Chrysolia Hotel is being hit with numerous phone calls demanding it shut down. Don't get me started. I've checked the numbers. People are pulling out their stocks. Damn. At this rate, Blakery Co. won't be worth even a dime. Ayami, can we come back from, back from this? We have to. My company is doing well, but it's nowhere near the size of Blakery Co. I'm prepared to throw everything in it to make this company survive. And truthfully, I don't even care about the company or anything. I just want Saki to have a good life, that's all. Oh, well at least they care about their daughter. And I've said it better myself. I'll work even harder myself for her sake. Yes, darling, I shall too. Let's work hard together. She really has good parents, at least. Grandpa er, grandparents, not so much. My parents, they've always worked so hard for me. And all this time I thought they didn't care. I'm so, so stupid. Uh... Is that the phone? Sounded like it was coming from the west. Um, yeah. Okay, I guess this has a purpose now. Um, like, hello? Er oh, Eric. Saki, thank goodness. Eric, how did you know I was here? I didn't. I pull I called multiple places you might be and you picked up this one. Although, there was this one was trickier because I had to bypass the front desk. But still, I'm glad to hear that you're okay. Man, you're so dedicated to the wrong things, you know that? <laughs> that's just how we roll, buddy. But you're my friend. That's not a bad thing at all. True, that's true. Anyway, how have you been lately? I could be better, I guess. Been depressed. My parents showed up and brought me back to this hotel for safety reasons. And tomorrow I'm off to Heart, Heart Home City. Heart Home City? Sinnoh? But, but why? It's not safe for me in Avium right now. So many people want to hurt us, but I don't really blame them. But you didn't do anything. Yeah, that's the problem. Mm. Look, you can't go to Sinnoh. I did call to check up on you, but there's another reason. Eh? Lavender and Amber started searching the hidden lap beneath the school at Aaron's request. And we found a lot of screwed up things. Like what? There's still people down here, locked up in pods. And we found your real body, Saki. Oh. Lavender wants to talk to you about getting your real body back, but she doesn't have to t talk to you over the phone. We need you here. But I can't. I don't have any way of getting there. And my parents are working hard to keep me safe. It doesn't feel right. But this has to do with you. The body you're using isn't yours. Yeah, and who knows what could happen if she uses it for too long. I mean, it is, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Hey, you're at the Crisolia Hotel, right? You can probably get a helicopter there. <laughs> A whole ass helicopter? Okay. Hey, don't worry about it. I can request one at the front desk. He's fucking rich people shit, am I right? <laughs> It'll take me about a day or so to get there, so got it. I'll let everyone know you're coming. Hey, I'm Eric. Yeah. Thanks for calling me. It's no problem, dude. One last thing. Could you Could you what? Okay. Well, that was definitely a thing.